Hey guys, this is Jay here from Chandler, Arizona. Uh, we have been talking about quantum for quite some time. So let's switch gears and let's talk about future of work and Gen AI a little bit. As you guys know, I'm a big proponent of acting now, not only on generative AI, but also artificial intelligence overall. It is at a point it has evolved, unlike some other people who are saying it's a revolution, I feel it has evolved to a point that it will shift not only the customer, end user, kind of, you know, the public private domain, but it will also evolve the apps which are available in the enterprises. So, time, so once again, time is now to act on Gen AI. Here are a few thoughts on how to start with generative AI. I would say on a very high level, from a leadership and management perspective, step one is to temper the expectation in an enterprise. I'm talking about specifically an enterprise. I feel that you know the news and the social media cycles is so quick nowadays that it almost feels that Gen AI or any such new thing is gonna be a magic bullet. It's not. It's not a magic bullet. Though it is here and we have to act, it's not a magic bullet. So we need to sever or temper our expectation on what AI will do for us. Number two is to prepare from a leadership and management perspective is to prepare an inventory of the data, the vast amount of data we are capturing, how structured it is, how unstructured it is, and tag that or annotate that data with the importance it has. It could be related to employees, it could be you know, related to your products, clients, things like that. Uh, so that if you have an inventory, you know where privacy is important, things like that, but also what kind of intelligence you can, uh, or insights you can gain out of it. And number three is to ensure that not only, and I'm saying both, not only do we focus on the bottom line where we focus on what kind of jobs could be automated or done quicker or can be amplified, but we also focus on the top line by building moats around our products or building other new product lines so that the overall pie for your company grows bigger. And we are not only talking about efficiency gains, but we are also talking about long-term gains. Uh, this can be kind of high level divided into four different pillars or you know iterative uh, milestones you, you can consider taking. Uh, number one is to anticipate uh, by making sure that your workforce is AI ready. They are AI literate. And I feel that the only way to do that is to give them tools which are AI ready, not to block them off, but to give them tools which can get them ready for uh, becoming AI ready. There is no amount of training, teaching, schooling, which will help employees. But for the employees, I would say, give them the tools which are AI ready and which will get them ready for the long term. These are the employees who are gonna come out with your top line ideas for their next products. Number two is to identify uh, and ensure, but when you are making a, a, a good inventory of your vast amounts of data, we we capture, we make sure that we identify what kind of uh, advances are happening in AI and those key learnings are linked back to the specific business, industry and functions we are doing. Third thing is to determine uh, what kind of importance AI is to your business. AI in healthcare is vastly different than AI in finance or AI in uh, defense department or a public domain is vastly different than AI in, say, a startup company. So figuring out what is the importance of AI and, you know, what is your positioning will help in conjunction with understanding the data you have. And last but not least, to ensure that, again, not only focus on bottom line and efficiency gains, but also focus on the top line by looking at what can be your two-year service offerings or product offerings or five-year uh, gains, which you can get by building either moats around your current products or other 
uh, new product lines which will at the end of the day help your users do more with less so that's all for now gen ai is here and the time to act is now thank you very much if you like this video please like share and subscribe and uh, if you have any comments you know i'm more than willing to collaborate thank you